To paraphrase Ken Burns and Jeffrey Ward, in the opening of their book, Jazz, A History of America's Music, when they study our civilization 2,000 years from now, Americans will be known for three things, the Constitution, the Super Bowl, and jazz. The three most beautiful things Americans ever created. Both football and jazz were invented in the late 1800s, one at Harvard in a game against Princeton, and the other in New Orleans. In both cases, it takes about 15 years of daily practice to become a rookie. When that ball carrier takes off for the end zone, come on now, he's taking a solo. And the line, that's the band backing him up. Both are based on inspiration, dedication, and the result in stimulation for all who witness or hear. And in both cases, jazz and football, dancing is involved. Welcome to the first annual Phoenix Jazz Superfest. Jazz and football, what a combination. Football and jazz. Jazz and football. You're going to be a musician or you're going to be a football player, right? <laughs> How many years is it going to take to do that, right? in common? Well, they started around the same time, late 1800s, and a hundred and so years later, here we are, Super Bowl, and Super Fest. What a perfect combination of ideas and ideals. Never having set foot on a football field, I can identify with what a player who's handed the ball is going through in their mind. What am I going to do? What move am I going to make? How am I going to facilitate getting down to the end zone and winning the game for the team?
I do that every night when I get on the bandstand. How am I going to win the game for the team? Sounds crazy, but football and jazz. Oh, yeah. My next special guest tonight, please welcome the wonderful Althea Renee. Down without further delay, one of the most incredible bassists. Yeah. Please welcome the one and only Brian Brownberg. Brian Brownberg. <laughs> beautiful Camelback Mountain overlooking Phoenix, Arizona on a beautiful sunset just before Super Bowl. I know we've talked about the similarities of jazz and football, but there's one glaring difference. And that's that football 
is viewed by millions. Jazz, on the other hand, has suffered. And the pendulum swings that the great icons, the Mannings, the Bradys, the Mosses, the football stars all in their right, would be parallel with the great jazz artists, the Chick Coreas, the David Sanborns, the Herbie Hancocks, who unfortunately, in this day and time, spend a lot of their time out of the country, being appreciated by the fans of abroad. I want to thank the NFL and these great players, and to be appreciated for the great players that I'm surrounded with every day, my colleagues in jazz. What a wonderful revelation that we had this opportunity tonight to share this stage.